Hello trainers, Ganeto here and today we're diving together into the new season with Skald being added on the moveset of Suicune. Also we're gonna use a Shadow Suicune because why not, this Pokemon looks so cool and even better now is gonna be with that amazing Skald being added to its moveset. Now you can always replace something like a Hydro Pump or a Bubble Beam with your Skald so that Ice Beam can be your second charge attack. With that in mind now we're just gonna keep going at it with our Skald here and as we can block at this point we can charge up to a double skull and then go for the move unfortunately for me though i cannot shield for the second time after that very bad lag as you saw there i pressed the move but for some reason i had the fps drop and as always we're just gonna fall short to this matchup so whiskers now is gonna go down to the leaks and of course all we have to do here is to over farm with our leaky tank so at the back they have a wiggle tough which is a natural counter to our Licky Tank, but at this point they can absolutely get destroyed down by those back to back to back body slams before they even reach to Icy Wind. Yes, you heard that right, Icy Wind is a move that this season was added to Wiggletuff, and of course, this Pokemon I believe is gonna use it. So, right now, Wiggletuff is looking pretty strong with the Zamming Voice and Icy Wind in combination with Charm as its fast attack, but hopefully, it is gonna go down, and right after, we will be met up with the uh, Bacidon which is pretty much great news for us since we can easily go ahead and destroy this Pokemon down with a simple dig. So as it seems here they are gonna block but it doesn't matter all we have to do is to reach to one more extra triple dig here to destroy Bacidon and of course grab this victory to start off the video. Uh, so these first battles were kinda sweaty, okay mom spaghetti, but uh, besides that we're just gonna keep going at it with our Suicune no matter what happens and you can see here that this is one of the first battles that I have had and of course a Registeel is gonna be up against us, okay on the plus side this is a Shadow Registeel, but still are you kidding me? So anyways at this point we have to block whatever they throw, they have to do exactly that on their end because Skald is just gonna destroy down the Metal Truscan and of course course we need to respect the damage in return from another Zap Cannon. So right here we're down on two shields and I believe that uh, we're just gonna switch out to a Gligar following their switch to that Lantern. So we can easily take at least one of those serves but the second one can be fatal so before they reach to the second serve we're just gonna throw here the dig and absolutely do a lot of damage on their end. Down goes our Scorpio Pokemon and now Lickitung is just gonna be going all in with its lead. So let's see how this is gonna unfold because serves here are still gonna add up in damage and they can definitely reach to another one if we are not careful. Of course we are not careful, we want to completely farm down here and see what their final Pokemon might be. We also have some energy on our Suicune which can be kind of a game changer. I was pressing here that Body Slam but to be fair uh, I saw the switch coming in and I was hoping that the Body Slam could do more damage than this but after that I decided to switch out to my Suicune. And and yeah, things aren't looking that great because they have a Swammer to the back, my Suicune is pretty low, but guess what, another Skull is in and this Pokemon is extremely bulky, is extremely spammy, and of course with the Skulls you can totally count on it. My opponent here perhaps goes for the undercharge but they cannot farm down right on time, they know that they sacrifice their final energy and of course I have more than enough to reach here to the power whip for the one shot on the Swampert which was not needed at all but still it is kinda uh, pretty good to be on that side and not on the Swamperts. So into the next battle line we're having Pelipper up in front, this Pokemon is pretty troublesome not only for my Suicune but perhaps for the the backline as well. Another laggy situation here in Go Battle League, who is surprised but I guess it is kinda normal uh, since this is a new season everyone was logging in uh, to battle at this point but anyway so Hurricane now is gonna take out my Pokemon and at this point we can easily go in with our Licky Tank start farming down in return. So Pelipper now with a Weather Ball. Uh, for some cheap damage, but it doesn't matter, we can still hold on and they have a Talon of Flame which now can learn the move Fly which is pretty neat. I battled a lot of those Talon of Flames carrying that move and uh, to be fair I was surprised of how easy it is for Talon of Flame to get there, pretty much like the Flame Charge Energy uh, requirement, so yeah. 
you need three for the first set, two for the second, which is pretty good. So anyways, now uh, here comes all the bot slam to grab that final shield out of play. And I was hoping that they were gonna get to some extra incinerates, but my opponent decided to go for immediately throwing their next move. And that was kind of a big bummer because now at the back they have Whiskas, but then it hit me. This season Whiskas doesn't carry the move Blizzard, which can be a game changer for your uh, Gligor and of course right here we're just gonna go at it with the digs able to finish off in two shots that poor Whiskas and they cannot farm down right on time which means that this final Aera Lace will seal the deal up against these trainers. Uh, so yeah, we're looking pretty rough as you can see, pretty sweaty battles to start off the season and this is looking pretty good overall for some extra practice before we get that elo. So here comes now the Skald to start off the next battle with that Medicham up in front and you know what, Medicham is not that great uh, right now with Psychic but of course you can always use it with Ice Punch and Power Punch, this Pokemon has immense stats for the Great League format. So right here now, one Skald for the Medicham, Ice Beam for all over 50% on that Mandibus and of course right after we can answer back at them with Lickitung. So right now they're getting super low and I feel pretty comfortable here going in with my Lickitung because I know that they still have Medicham and of course my normal typing will not help that much there. I'd rather sacrifice Lickitung here with no shields at all up against the Mandibus and who knows perhaps we can get out of here that final shield. Uh, so bot slam is coming up and they are gonna block which is pretty good for me now i can easily go in with my suicune try to make them throw the remaining energy that they have another psychic so now glygar can easily farm down two shields on my glygar at the back there is a cloud sire let's get it trainers with a dig and at some point we might be expecting the switch but it doesn't matter because first we need to respect the damage from the following move but guess what we're not gonna do that not here so here comes now Mandibuzz on the switch, I was expecting that but still I'm not gonna throw any energy yet, just gonna hour farm a little bit more and then throw the RLAs. With that in mind now we have enough energy to reach to the dig safely and of course grab the victory against Clotsire which is no big threat at all for my team. So into the next battle now and we're having a Mandibuzz up in front. So this Pokemon is pretty troublesome overall, especially uh, for my uh, Leaky Tank. But as you can see here, Ice Beam from our Suicune can still help up this battle. This matchup is kind of favorable for them eventually, but still, uh, since they go for those area laces, we can always count on our Pokemon. So at this point, I'm just gonna throw the Skull instead of Ice Beam because I'm expecting them to shield and of course we're gonna get that first shield out of play so they are able to farm down which is kind of a big bummer but uh, to be fair i can always count on glycar for the end game especially when i have that shield of contact so now they respond with a quagsire on the switch getting the move water gun and now power whip will try to one shot down this pokemon but unfortunately for us we cannot get quite there now mad bomb is gonna be thrown from my opponent look at that hat looks like a mini thug and of course now we have power whip to one shot for the real time that quacks are out of existence Bot slam now for that uh, Mandibuzz and of course they are gonna not fall okay I thought for a second that this was gonna be enough but of course it's Mandibuzz and of course it's Leaky Tank so uh, so low attack set against a bulky Pokemon it is never gonna be enough at the back they have a Salamence are you kidding me these battles are absolutely crazy people are using a Mandibuzz a Quagsire and then all of a sudden a Salamence are you kidding me absolutely insane and unfortunately for them we're gonna have a double RLA to finish off this Pokemon pretty easily. So into the next battle and if you think Aneto you had the Salamence before, now an Amungus, what are you talking about here? Well guess what, because Amungus is kinda of a very bad lead for us. We cannot switch out effectively and of course they can have the upper hand with those Astonishes having the uh, update from this move update. So at this point we have to respect the damage from whatever they throw, they are shadow as well and right here we will try to bait with the Skald 
both of our shields are out of play so we can definitely outspeed here now to the ice beam down goes among us in a very close battle that they can also win the cmp as you saw before and at this point now we're gonna see the switch out to that tentacruel actually not the switch out just gonna bring it in uh they still have their switch alive and well so now leaky tank is gonna emerge from my side because i know i might need my glider for the end game especially if they have some skulls to throw on my end so here comes now the first body slam for some cheap damage on that water type pokemon and of course right after we will try to make them throw the remaining energy so they have skulled once again not gonna throw a blizzard or a sludge wave and now we'll try to get now my hands on that power whip unfortunately for me i cannot get quite there just for one single turn and right after we will have kind of a rough matchup up against this carving so all i have to do at this point is to get to a double dig right it makes a lot of sense they're getting super low and i was hoping that this next one will most likely faint down this pokemon but to my surprise they survive as i can see from here with one single hp and grab the victory against my pokemon which was a total mess up for this battle but absolutely deserving for my opponent especially for using a shadow among us into the final one now and we're having the obstagoon up in front this pokemon with night slash is gonna be kind of troublesome but still not something that we cannot uh, hold uh, back because the only pokemon that is gonna be afraid of that obstagoon is mainly gonna be my leak tank so with that in mind now we can still have kind of a very close battle up against them and delphox at the back yes some battles are kind of weird since we are on the early rankings but still you can see that glygar is gonna put up quite the work here so here comes now my RLAs they are gonna take it they were counting as it seems and right here now we're just gonna switch out to our punching bag in order to farm down with this now they return the battle with Obstagoon I have the bot slam ready to go which from this range should be enough to knock out now at the back they have a needle queen and all of a sudden we have one more bot slam ready to go uh, so at this point they have a poison type pokemon with one shield we have a ground type pokemon with two shields so you can already do the math here and yeah i think we're we're having the upper ground for sure and especially with a ground type pokemon what else can you have here here comes now the first aerial ace and right after we will try to snipe them down with a second and grab this victory to end this video so that is gonna be all for today trainers thank you for watching and for staying till the end just be sure to leave a huge like before you go subscribe to the channel if you already haven't i don't know what you're doing otherwise and over here i have two videos for you to check out feel free to check them out and i will see you all into the next one